Some really unusual sounding chords. Some are kind of cool. I mean, some they're all cool. This is a really neat progression. This is, of course, Paul Simon's 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover from 1975. Still crazy after all these years. Opens up with these jazzy chords. And we've got a couple of different guitars doing different things. We're going to take a look at two different two different guitar parts. One that you could play by yourself. Actually, probably three. Um, I'm going to mostly show the way Paul plays it live when he's doing, but now he's always doing this with a band, and that means his guitar parts can keep, be sort of understated, but we're going to look at a good way to, to carry it by yourself. Now, it's tough to carry this without a drummer. Opens up with, of course, there's just no way to like mimic this with your fingers on the guitar. Well, probably not. I don't know enough about drumming to actually make that determination. But... Um, we're going to look at uh, really just these, these cool jazzy chords that he plays. Most of them during the verse are just kind of grabbed lightly or strummed. Then we have a progression that we're going to be doing a little heavier strumming in. And we'll talk about a couple different ways of strumming that. I have tab to the whole thing, uh, chart with the chords and the words and stuff. A lot of the chord names are going to be a bit unusual chord with an added 11th? Yeah, maybe. So we'll get to that. We'll take a look at everything you need to do to put together your own version of 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover. 